Hi and welcome to Tuesday Talk. This week's video is at the suggestion of Jenna Wellborn. She says why not do some thrift flips. So I'm all about that. This week's thrift flip is going to be an entry in the Rust-Oleum Creator Studio Trash to Treasure Challenge. So I hope that my entry will be well received. I'm doing a little table that I got and I think it would be much better as a high table and so I want to repurpose those legs into candlesticks. So I used uh, some inspiration from West Elm and I got a couple different cans of Rust-Oleum that I'll be using to uh, create my candlesticks. The value on that item is supposed to be under $50. So we all know what West Elm prices look like, so I think my three candlesticks will be just perfect for this. So here's my table and the original legs. It came to me this way. The legs were detached, so I think that's where I sort of got the idea uh, in the first place. But I liked the size of the tabletop. Nice and big, so I think larger, longer legs would be great for it. Um, so I think I'll order legs for it, or maybe make legs for it. But that leaves these legs, which I think will be perfect for this upcycle. First, I used my drill to put that dowel pin in there and then just reverse it and put it out. So I put it in like a chuck and then reversed it. And now I am using my miter saw and cutting the different lengths of the candlesticks. The end caps that were in there remove easily with pliers in two parts. There's the plastic part and then the nail. And then I sand everything smooth. I also used a little Dixie mud to fill in uh, any place where there were holes um, from those little end caps and also from the dowel pins. I knew from my inspiration piece that I wanted a few of them to be natural. I wanted this to be a quick project, so I didn't want to strip them. But I decided I'm going to grab my scrapers and see what I can do. And then I feel like this was a happy accident. I kind of liked the way just removing some of that stain, some of that finish, left it kind of looking like a just a very cool design. The swirls and the wood were cool anyway. Then it was time to spray. I chose my colors based on the West Elm inspiration, and this color is my favorite. It's called Vintage Rose. I used clear coat on the wooden, plain wooden ones. I also added a little bit of Dixie Belle's Voodoo Gel Stain up at the top to uh, give it a stained appearance as well on the raw wood. And then I chose the um, umber kind of color, which is really a bright yellow, <laughs> um, that was in the um, inspiration picture. This color is called marigold. It is a beautiful, rich color. Now, I didn't realize that I chose a um, gloss for this and a satin for the rose, but you know what? It's all good. My clear coat is also a satin. Next, I used a 120 grit sandpaper to distress them. I thought it would make it a little more cohesive if I brought out some of the details in these really ornate legs or candlesticks, and I thought it would coordinate really nice with the raw wood ones.
I really love the look of that and I did it on the marigold sticks as well. Remember what our legs slash candlesticks looked like before? And check out how they look now. I usually put things in groups of three, but I went for five here. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company. On Instagram, we're LaVintageDecor. On Facebook, we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well.